Hey guys, my name is Joey Thomas, entrepreneur and small business educator here at 17 Hats. Now, one of the topics I absolutely love um, in small business is the topic of sales because sales, the word itself is taboo because nobody wants to be salesy. No one wants to feel like a used car salesman and no one wants to use these, you know, pressure techniques, high pressure techniques in sales. But in research, if you survey incredible salespeople, high performing salespeople, there are some things that they all do in common that I think you should do as well. And so there are five simple things. This is going to be a quick video, guys. So hang out with me for just the next few minutes and I'll quickly go over five habits of incredible salespeople. All right, let's dive right in. Number one, speak to the decision makers. You know, it's tempting to jump on a phone call with the person that sends you the inquiry and try to sell them immediately on your service. But it's a better habit to talk to them, find out a little bit about what their real needs are, and find out who are the actual decision makers. If they're making the decision alone or are there other people involved? So you want to make a connection, but you definitely want to make another appointment so that everyone can be on the phone. Now that just might be their spouse. It might be a grandparent. It might be someone else involved in whatever the service that you're offering. It might be a, a coordinator. Whatever it is, just make sure you ask that question and set that appointment. Number two, maximize the potential of each sale instead of just thinking about more sales. See, if we get into the mindset of we need more sales, more client, more sales, it creates a lot of anxiety and it can create a lot of tension because more sales and more clients typically means more advertising, more marketing. So instead of doing that, some of the best salespeople in the world, they actually don't need more clients they bump up the value of every client that they have. So this ultimately buys you more time in your life as well to do whatever it is that you want to do with it. You can invest it back into your business or go vacation in a yacht somewhere. So either way, maximize the value of each client. Now, you know, how do you do that? Right. I like to create a value ladder for those that want the most for their money. And what I mean by a value ladder is the more they want to get, the better the value is. So that allows people to purchase more. Right. Instead of getting one thing, they might buy five things or instead of getting one package in your service, they might get a bigger package because the value is clearly better. OK. And number three. Focus only on tasks that directly relate to your sales and outsource everything else. All right. So I've done other videos on outsourcing. You know, I support that 100 percent. So, you know, what are some tasks that relate directly to sales? Finding prospects, generating leads, connecting with your prospects, phone calls, consultations, building a referral network. These are all directly sales related. It's related to the bottom line. Now, tasks such as scheduling, emails, those type of things can be outsourced to a third party or you can set that up through a program, a CRM like 17 Hats. So just make sure that you spend your time on the things that are going to make you the most money and outsource the rest of the tasks to a software or to another party. All right, number four, focus on referrals as much if not more than new leads. See, the people who value you generally have a network of those who share those values. We we usually travel in tribes. Our friends, we kind of think the same way. We have the same interests. Although it's not identical, we do share certain things, especially if you live in a particular area or a neighborhood. Now, focusing on referrals, it helps you cut down on hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of marketing to weed out the wrong leads. So continue to nurture your clients. When the service is done or when the product is delivered, it does not mean it's over. That's when the real work begins to nurture those clients, keep them in the loop and add value as you go along because you know what? Out of sight, out of mind. So make sure to focus on getting those referrals. Last but not least, we have number five, focus on outcomes and not to-dos. For example, 
a to do is a meeting with someone, meeting with the boutique, meeting with a vendor, maybe at 2 p.m. today. That's a to do, right? An outcome is develop new relationship with prospects or referral sources. So if you compare your to do list with your outcome list, you can cross off those to do items that don't serve the greater purpose. So if that boutique or that meeting at that vendor at 2 p.m. won't be a great referral source for you, then you take that off your list and you find a meeting or set up a meeting that's going to serve your outcome. So guys, those are the five tips to become better at sales right now. And as much as sales might feel scary or might feel pushy, these five tips are universal when researching top salespeople, and none of these are pushy. So hopefully you can implement some of these for your business and at the end, make more money and just work more efficiently and hopefully see more success. So guys, thank you again for watching this video. Subscribe to the 17 Hats channel, like the video, and turn on the notification bell. I'll be back with more just like this. I'll see you again soon.